Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this simple Father's Day card in Word. So we have our default document here, and what we need to do first is decide on what size paper we want. So if you go up to the Layout tab at the top here, and then you go to this icon here that says Size, click on the drop down, and you're given a number of different options depending on the size of your card. Now it doesn't matter which option you choose because the methods and techniques that I'll show you will apply to any piece of paper or any size of paper that you choose. So I'm just going to stay on A4 here but what I need to do is to turn this card round so it's landscape in order to cut it in half and do our design on the right hand side so when it goes through the printer it prints correctly. So I'm on the layout tab again and I'm going along to the orientation icon, click on the drop down and just select landscape. So in order to correctly divide this piece of paper in half, if I just type a capital T into my document, go up to the home tab and select the center text icon here. That means the centre of this T will be exactly in the middle of your document, no matter what your margins are or how large your page is or how small your page is. Then go up to the Insert tab, click on Shapes, click on the drop down and select the Line tool. Then I'm just going to simply click, hold the Shift key down and drag down my page. I'm then going to zoom in at the bottom here. You can see there's a zooming icon slider. I'm just going to click on that. And my line is still highlighted because it has these green circles at the top. And I'm going to use my arrow key, my right arrow key, and I'm just going to move my line to the right so it's over the top of this T. Once I've done that, I'm just going to delete the T. Zoom out. And now we have a line that's in the centre of our document, which shows that's where the spine of your card will be. The next thing we need to do is to decide on the background colour of our card. Now, obviously, if you want to keep it white, then that's completely up to you. But if you want to change the background colour of your card, you can do that in numerous ways. But the easy technique that I use is to go up to Design and then go along to this icon here that says Page Colour click on the drop down and then you're given a number of options here. If the colour that you want isn't here then you can click on more colours and then you'll be given this dialog box with the colour wheel and also another a number of other different options at the top here. Now you can use this eyedropper tool to select any colour of your choice from anywhere or from a card that you've already seen or from an, an image that you've seen online. And I do have a video about selecting and matching colors, which I'll link in the description below. So all you need to do is to just go ahead and select the color of your choice. So we'll go for a deep red. And then I'm gonna move this slider down to just darken that red and click OK. Now your whole page is red and for some of you, you might, might want the card to be red on the back and the front. But again, you can also change the back to white as you would do on a normal greeting card. So the way to do that is go up to the insert tab and then go along to text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Then just simply go to the corner of your document, click and drag and it will actually click along the line in the centre of your document. Just release the mouse and what you'll see is you have a white text box with a black border. So if I zoom in, you can see that the line that we put in before has disappeared because it's actually underneath this text box, but this text box has a black border. If you want to get rid of that, just select your text box go up to shape format and then go along to this icon here click on the drop down and select no outline then when you click off your text box you can now see that line's gone and we can just about see that blue line coming through 
So the next thing I'm going to do is just create a little bit of artwork, simple artwork to go in the center of my card here. So I'm going to go up to the insert tab and I'm going to go along to icons. Now you may not have icons in your version of Word, but you can use anything from clip art or your own personal art. You can insert a photo at this point. You can insert some shapes. You can draw your own artwork. It's completely up to you. So I'm just going to click on icons. And as you can see, all of the icons come up on the right hand side. And there's quite a few to choose from. So I'm just going to type in fishing at the top here and then select this picture here. And then click insert. Sometimes your picture will come up and you'll see the outline of the square, but you can't actually see the image. If that happens, just go up to the graphics format tab, go along to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. And then you can move your icon anywhere you want to in your image. So once you've got your image in there, if it has several elements, you can change all of these different elements by the colour, the outline and the sizes. But what you need to do first is to go up to this convert to shape icon. Click on convert to shape. And now once I move my icon back, if I double click on the fish, you can see that now I can just edit this particular fish. If I copy and paste this fish by selecting Command or Control C, Command or Control V, then this fish becomes its own icon. And then you can see, I click on this one, this fish is no longer part of the original icon. So I can now just use this fish as a standalone icon, or I can use it by blending it in with the rest of the fish and making this part of the original image. Now the way to do that is just to simply click on this fish, click Command or Control key on your keyboard, click on the original icon, make sure you're on shape format, and then go along to this icon here that says group. Click on the drop down and select group. Once you've done that, you can see that now that third fish is now part of the original icon. Now, if I wanted to change all these different fish, then I just simply click on the fish and then make sure I'm on shape format. And then I can use this icon here to change the color of my fish to any particular color I like. Obviously you've got these options, but again, if you click on more colors, then again, you have the color wheel and you have the color wheel here, which you can just move this icon around. And as you can see, this square here changes and you can select any color you like. So today I'm just going to select white and then I just want a very nice border going around the edge of my fish. So I'm going to select this icon here, which is the border icon or the outline. I'm going to select black and then I can just go ahead and I can either do that with all the other fish or I can delete those fish. And then I can just simply select that fish and copy and paste it. So I don't have to go back and recolor all the fish. And then again, I can just adjust those fish. I can make them bigger or smaller and I can rotate them. Now, because I've copied and pasted those fish, they're not all part of the original icon. So if I click on the edge of this larger box here and move, you can see now that only that element, the fish and the hook, a part of the original image. And again, you can just use groups by clicking and holding down the command key, going up to groups, selecting the drop down and clicking group. And then you'll find that the image becomes one. If you've made a mistake and you need to go back, don't worry. You can go back up to groups, click on the drop down and select ungroup. Now if we just go ahead and change the hook color, there we go. And then we can now go ahead and edit some text in here. But first of all, we need to find the center of just this element here. And unfortunately, centering of the text just on a normal piece of paper is going to center everything along this line here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a text box. 
and I'm going to make the text box go to the very edges of my page from this side here just to the center spine. So now in order to find the center, although I have these two boxes here that do tell me where the center is, when I click off the box to insert the line, those boxes vanish. So I need to put something inside the text box that's going to show me where the center is. So again, I'm going to click on capital T and then I'm going to go to the home tab and click on the center text icon. And then once again, go up to the insert tab, go along to shapes, click on the drop down and select line. Once again, I'm going to click and drag holding the shift key down and then just zoom in and ensure that that line is lined up with the center of that T. So I'm just going to use my left arrow and just nudge it across to that T. And then I'm just going to zoom back out and then I'm going to click on my text box and press delete. Then I've got my central line here where I can line up all my words and text boxes to ensure that they're in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a text box and then just click and drag. I'm gonna put my words in. I'm going to highlight the word, go to the home tab, then I can choose from these icons here how my text will look. So the first thing I'm going to do is increase the size of my font and then I'm going to change the type of font I've got. And then I'm going to change the color of my font to white. Now when I change it to white, you'll see that it vanishes because I'm on a white background. But then I'm gonna go up to shape format. Then I'm going to go to shape fill and click no fill and go up to the outline here, click on the drop down and click no outline. Then I'm going to go back to the home tab and I'm going to center my text. As you can see here the two center squares are not lined up with my center line. So the first thing I'm just going to move my text box so it's a little bit smaller and then just move the text box to the center there. So now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this text box so that I can write Father's Day down here. Now it's far easier to duplicate this than go ahead and redo all the background and the borders and the font and the font style. But again, of course, you can go down and make your own text box and change it as you see fit. So I'm just going to press Command or Control C, Command or Control V. and I'm just going to move that down to the bottom. I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger so that I can get all the words in. And then I'm just going to double click, press Command or Control A to highlight the text and then just type Father's Day down here. Now you can go ahead and move everything around. I think currently these are ungrouped. So I'm just going to ensure that everything is grouped hold down my command or control key whilst clicking on all the elements, go up to shape format, go along to groups and click group. And then of course I can center this by using the two boxes at the top and the bottom. And then of course I can move everything around so that I'm happy with its placement. And of course I can go in and change any element of this that I choose. The other way to ensure that everything's centered is to hold the command key down again and click on all three elements and then go up to this alignment tab here and if you click on the drop down you can see here this align to center will align all your elements to the center ensure that you're checked on align selected objects just click on align to center and it will ensure everything is perfectly lined up in the center now once you're done you can click on your line and then just go ahead and delete it. Now once you're finished with your design on the front of your card, you can of course insert things on the back of the card. So for example, if I insert another text box, click and drag,
And then I'm just going to go ahead and center the text. Again, you can go ahead and center this element in exactly the same way that we centered all of this with the text box. But for just the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to eyeball it. If you want to get rid of the borders again, go up to Shape Format and click on the Outline icon and click No Outline. And then you can enter a shape or an icon Again, go up to wrap text in front of text. We can move that down, resize it, and then hold the command or control key down, click on the other box, go up to the alignment tab and click on align to center just to line those two up. And then again, if I want to group them, just move that up a little bit, then just group them together and then again, you can move this around anywhere on your document. So once you're finished, don't forget to zoom in. Make sure that you click on the line that we placed in the center. And then press the delete key and that line will disappear. Once you're happy, go ahead and put your card through the printer, fold it up and write your beautiful message for Father's Day. I hope that's helped. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.